My research activity on the last 10 years can be characterized by an experimental approach and by a desire to have a societal impact. For instance, my research project called Blue Bear, which is on exploring privacy threats in the internet, has shown that not only big internet companies like Google and Facebook, but also individuals can significantly infringe privacy of a large number of internet users, let's say millions, even hundreds of millions of internet users. With the large adoption of smartphones and tablets, what I call mobile devices, this situation became even worse. So we started a project called Medal, in which we want to give back control of the end users on their mobile devices, so that they can know exactly which kind of information is leaked and which kind of information they can protect. The internet fundamentally changed the way we access information and the way we communicate. Therefore, it fundamentally changed the society. The three main revolutions, in my opinion, are the web in the early 90s, the social networks in 2000, and more recently, the huge adoption of uh, smartphones and tablets, what I call mobile devices. However, this revolution has been so fast that internet users have not been educated to understand the technologies and to understand the meaning of the information they can access through the internet. In my opinion, one important role of the researchers is not only to make theoretical contributions, but also to help internet users to understand the technology and to educate them to interpret the information they can access in order to prevent mass manipulations. What I would like to address in the next few years is understanding how we can define the notion of citizen rights in the internet and how we can improve and unfroze the citizen rights. So for instance, one really important citizen right is the notion of transparency and privacy. Each and every internet user should be able to control the information they are exposed, they are exposing to the internet. And they should also be able to control this exchange of information. Another important subject is to understand what we can learn from existing social networks on the propagation of information in the real life. And in particular, can we understand how we can perform mass manipulation in order to prevent such events and provide tools in order to avoid these kind of manipulations.